Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hadn't been on for a minute, so I just wanted to put this out there. Um, I had a, a scripture that was dropped in my spirit, and I just kind of just wanted to, to talk about that. It is actually Psalms, the 22nd chapter and verse 5. And that was just the one verse that he gave me. And the verse says, hold on, let me let me look at it. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. Okay. And you know, in my analytical spiritual mind, the first thing I'm like, who is the they? Lord, what exactly are you trying to tell me? And as I begin to just think about those things, I begin to think about, uh, you know, the, this is the time of Christmas and how a lot of times during the holidays, we do a lot of spending we give gifts. Uh, we talk to people that we normally don't talk to. And so it's like God was just reminding me that no matter what season in our lives it is, or no matter what time the, the calendar says, when we cry out to the Father, when we cry out to Jesus in our darkest hour, he delivers us. When we cry out to the father and we trust him that he will do whatever he said he would. He will not put us to shame. Now, men and women, you know, in our lives or people in our lives, we know that there are times when <clears throat> there are times when we, um, I, I have love for many people and there are times when I, I say things and, uh, I really have good intentions on doing whatever I say, but I don't always make it. And so it's like, uh, God is just reminding me there are times when people fail you, but I will never fail you. I have never forsaken you or failed you in your lifetime. Sometimes we feel that God's hand is away from us, but he's never away from us. He's always with us. Even when there's only the one footprint in the sand, we know this because he's carrying us. And so while we're going through our busy days and this busy week, we only have a few more, just a week and a half, less than a week and a half uh, before Christmas. Now, the world gets up in an uproar and celebrates Christmas in a way uh, in one time of the year. But we know that as Christians, we celebrate Christ's birth, death, resurrection all year long. It's not just a date on the calendar. It's actually something that has been imprinted in our lives. Something that we live on a regular basis. So while you're walking around trying to get that special gift for that special person, or even a gift for a coworker, remember the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. Man, can you imagine being born to die? One song says, born to die, knowing that the whole purpose of your birth is that you will die for the sins of the world. And we know that there were times like even in the Garden of Gethsemane that Christ was like burdened down and he was like, oh, my God, take this cup from me. But then he succeeded or he succeeded and said, your will be done. So as we're going around this Christmas season, not taking Christ out of Christmas, not saying happy holidays, but Christmas, remember why? He was born to die, born to die for our sins, born to give us a better life, an eternal life, not just in the hereafter, which a lot of times we have been in our lifetime, I know that when I first became a Christian, it was all about, you know, shedding all the things of this world and and so that I could have a better life, you know, sacrificing enough on this time on this side so that when I get over into heaven, no, 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 no. God wants us to live right now and to live in the afterlife. So if you have thought about Spending a whole lot so that all year, next year, you're going to be paying for it. Rethink it. Because really, it's Jesus' birthday. 
It, it, we are celebrating his birth. And if we remember that, and we remember that our lives are important to him, so much so that he sacrificed it all. He was born to die just for you and for me. So as you think about uh, this day, remember Psalms 22 and 5. When we cried, he delivered. When we trusted, he didn't put us to shame. All right. Have an extremely blessed holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year.